Greetings 40k fans, it's time for another battle report. A classic matchup between good and evil. Uh, this is the board. This is some terrain I made a while ago but didn't use because it was a little too dark for my old camera. And here's how we're playing it. These are like hills. It's difficult terrain to get up and down but easy terrain across the top. Uh, these are just what they are. It's their easy terrain except for these little spiky things. Uh, they're really on there just for decoration. And of course these bad little uh, gym bobs here uh, are impassable terrain. So I pretty much went with a standard tournament setup of just uh, three or four pieces of terrain. Uh, both of the armies are very transport heavy so we thought this would really be the uh, most fun way to go. A lot of transports, so my guys will be in the transports. I'm gonna... Sean has to charge me with his berserkers. So I plan on just baiting him with transports and kind of running him around the board while I shoot him. And keeping him away from my guys. With what's left. Um, I'm going to... I'm thinking about deep striking the jet bikes. And kind of behind his army and just... Land speeders. Jet, land speeders, jet bikes. They look like jet bikes. Land speeders and kind of just laying waste. But uh, they're pretty much my only firepower. But, uh, yeah, just my goal is to pick Sean apart with firepower until I have enough guys that I can actually feel comfortable engaging in close combat. Hi, my name is Sean, and I'll be playing the Chaos Space Marine Cahorn Force. Yes, I know that people pronounce it Corn or Cornet or whatever the heck it is, but quite frankly, I, I refuse to uh, serve a Chaos God named after a vegetable. My strategy is simple. It's blood for the blood god. 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 Oh, 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 hi. Okay, so we're doing Seek and Destroy and Secret Setup. And Seek and Destroy is uh, pretty simple. Whoever has the most scoring units at the end of the game wins. Set up your guys within 12 inches. Normally you would alternate but uh, in this case, we're just going to get them on the board because uh, we want to get on with the uh, bloodshed. The bloodshed. So we got uh, some raptors, spawn, these are termies, and a uh, land raider, and then my regular units. That is classic. You're not left-handed, are you? I am. <laughs> That's awesome. That'll make it easier for us to move his guys around, because they're all on the left hand of the board. Here come two. Third. Dang it, you're first. Yeah, I'll take the first turn. It's going to be pretty simple. Hit <laughs> charge. So in a game like this, you gotta yeah. you gotta keep track of. Uh, hey, is the Defiler fleet afoot? Mm, yes. I think it is. It is. Yeah. Here it comes three. So I'll just uh, I'm just fleeting him all at once. That's fine. Okay. Well, I don't want to be shot by that or that. So pretty much. Be. The beauty of Land Raiders is they have the <laughs> same armor all around. Except the back. Yeah. All right. Uh, spawn slow and purposeful. Ooh, they walk them three in, uh, two inches, and then they're not fleet. I don't think. No. Uh, yeah. They're just slow. Guys, spawn bite. I just put them in to fill up the space. Yeah, you're talking to a guy trying to sell these spawn too. So maybe I should not be bad mouthing the spawn. Okay. Oh, the raptors. They're so valuable. You know what? I'm just not gonna get them into trouble. Uh, Alright. Yeah. There's Tau summary. This is Clash of the Tanks. <laughs> Seriously. So you don't get to shoot anything up to 12, and he's like, ah, except unless you're a skimmer or a a fast vehicle, 
and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Perfect. that's the typical nerd yeah, thing. It's like, yes, but you'll remember in episode 112, they went outside the space-time continuum. Okay, so. so you can clearly <laughs> see, you shouldn't that. say always. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, what the heck, I'll shoot that. Do it, dude. Totally do it. Babe. He missed. Yeah. <laughs> I suck. All right. Well, no, no, no. Hold, wait, hold, hold on a well, second. It's weapon. It's yeah. Here, gra grab me the template. So. Yeah. You you just you put the template on it. It scatters it was, one inch. Yep. So I hit that. And that's a hit. Okay. Great. So uh, eight, straight ten. Straight Three. ten. It's an ordinance weapon. Okay. Not a. You don't have to rule the hit. Huh. So then add one d six for armor penetration, right? Yep. Yeah. It's two d six for armor penetration oh. against vehicles. Excellent. Ten plus ten. That's a twenty. No, oh. it's roll 2d6, take the highest one. Oh, 5. 15. Yeah, 15. So that's a penetrating hit. Yep. Um, and... Go ahead, roll. I need to make a copy of the chart. It's a 2. It's a two. Armament destroyed and crew stunned. Okay. Can I take out the big cannon? Do you have a battle cannon on Yeah, it? actually you I'll can. I'll take that, yeah. Okay, great. No so battle no cannon. battle cannon. <laughs> okay, and then the melter from this tank is going to shoot at that. Okay. So that's rolled a hit. That's a mess. Thank goodness. I'll shoot the twin link assault cannon. Okay. And I get a reroll misses. Three hits. So I'm looking up rending versus vehicles right now. Um, rending versus vehicle means you get a roll an extra d6. For strength penetration. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So that's a 12. Right. So the other ones actually can't hurt him because his front armor's 13. Okay, great. So a 16. Yeah, I guess that's a penetrating hit. And a three. Uh, immobilized. Good lordy Leo, he just took. You want me to just keep that immobilized and crew stand. Land Raider over there. Didn't like that sound. Six inches, so it's gonna fire. The Razorback. Last yeah, the Razorback. Cannon. Razorback cannon. Okay, go for it. Hit. Um, strength nine. nine. That's a fourteen. That's a Lancer. Lancer. Okay, we're all on the chart. <laughs> So six. Oh, dear <laughs> gosh. Vehicle destroyed. I don't even believe that. So, what happens to the people inside? Uh, <laughs> vehicle destroyed. They're entangled. Yeah, they're entangled. So, recap of the it's Black Templar first ever. turn of shooting. Uh, assault cannon, and here, took out as a battle cannon. The multi gun and do jack. But, uh, <laughs> the Razorback has already earned his points back in spades by eliminating the, uh, <coughs> Land Raider. Chaos Land Raider over there completely in the first shot. Oh, that was your Terminator one too. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have fun with you now.